Hey MVPs, welcome to McKenzie TV, where we bring your family health and happiness through our online videos. And today we are continuing our series about Erythrocodermia variabilis with this skin scrub that is great for removing dry skin. As for our ingredients, we'll start off with light brown sugar, and then we'll need lemon juice or mild acid. And next up is milk. It's better to use whole milk, but we got 2% milk right now, but to get maximum effect, use whole milk. Then, we got our honey, and it's better to use all natural honey. You can only get those from your produce stand. And then, extra, uh, extra virgin olive oil, cause it's really good, and I recommend it out of all other olive oils. And also, a bowl. <laughs> and first off, we're gonna pour the brown sugar into the bowl. All right, and now we do a square or two, about a tablespoon's worth of lemon because you want to get the sugar moist but not dissolved because you want to have that coarse roughness when you're rubbing the skin, as the, you know, in the scrub as you're rubbing your skin. And next, you pour in your olive oil. Just, you know, pour a little bit in, about a tablespoon's worth, and then you mix it up. Then after you get that mixed in, now you pour in your honey. Oh, yeah. About a quarter of a cup. Yeah, about a quarter of a cup. All right, now we're mixing this up. So also don't worry about the stickiness cause it washes off easily. And next up, we're pouring the milk in, about a quarter cup. And then we mix it in. See how uh, runny but thick it is? It has some thickness to it. That's what the consistency you want it to be at. Cause it'll be easy to still rub all over your skin. You, you can still feel the coarse roughness of the sugar. And if it is too runny, you don't fill them. You just add a little bit more sugar in it until you fill them. Okay, now to application. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna put it, show you guys on the back of skin cause that's where his roughest skin is. Okay, so you just scoop up the Scrub in your hand like that and just rub it gently you don't have to apply any pressure or anything just rub it and it's okay um, if it gets in your hair it's actually uh, pretty good for your hair too but you just want to give it a gentle rub no don't apply any pressure or anything um, do it on the entire body actually um, and then let it sit for maybe five minutes or whatever if you want a really nice effect. There shouldn't be any burning or anything like that. Okay, so that's how it looks like um, once it's applied. I don't know how well that shows, but um, you let it sit for about five minutes before you rinse it off. And you can just um, get your bath as normal afterwards or whatever. And make sure you moisturize after your bath. Okay, so now it's all applied and all, you, all that's left is to um, wash it off. A wash rag and some water um, will rinse it right off. Yeah, that's the wash And yeah, so then um, you just get your bath as normal. Okay, so now we're all washed and dried, exfoliated, and you can see a huge difference from before and after. So now you want to make sure you re-wash and dry. We are using our coconut oil, and so you want to do this about maybe once or twice a week. I wouldn't suggest doing it more than twice a week, and oh my goodness, his back feels soft as a baby's bottom, literally. So yeah, even if you don't have this skin disorder it's a really great skin scrub period but it is as you can see as excellent for erythrocodermia variabilis so yeah if you like this video give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up subscribe share it with anyone who might have erythrocodermia variabilis but also so this is also great if you have um, keratosis and or psoriasis 
and so share with uh, people who you know suffer with those um, skin issues as well and we will see you next time we hope this has helped bye if I can get my hand right say bye bye is it too close say bye say bye bye <laughs> if you have this skin disorder. Because even as she said, the doctors and everyone don't know a whole lot about it. Um, but what I do,